Please be upstanding for a new recording of Things We Like. Hi everybody and welcome to Things We Like. Isn't the world a wonderful, shiny, beautiful thing? You could have hope. It is. You were going to call it an oyster. Then, I totally you? was. <laughs> Where did I got that from? The world's your oyster. Oh, cool. It's yeah, just, don't you forget about it. We've already started an episode with that exact same phrase. Oh, weird. Maybe I'm having a flashback. Flashback? Flashback. flashback. Mm-hmm. Oh, just memory. Oh, yeah, I'm having a memory. <laughs> <laughs> And this Seems week, not used to those. This week we're coming to you live from apparently we're in the danger zone. We're on the border of the danger zone. Yeah, we're it's the border. Just outside right? the danger zone. This is the shed outside the danger zone. The well, shack outside the, the shack danger. outside the danger zone. Well, which way is the danger zone? Because we just came here on the highway. Yeah, we came through the danger zone. Now we're on the other side yeah. of the danger zone. What? I know you've travelled through the danger zone. Jesus. To get home, you've got to go back through the danger zone. Yeah. And then on the highway, away from the danger zone. <sighs> What's the opposite of the danger zone? Um, safe, 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 safe area. <laughs> well, a zone. Bali. I think it's more likely to be the safety dance. The safety um, dance. Uh, is it, uh, dan- safety is dance. dancing the opposite of zones? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, anyway, hello. I'm Jim. Uh, I'm Jenny. I'm Roseanne. I'm still Andy. I'm George Lucas. Jesus, George. You didn't even mention. <laughs> I just felt like mixing it up. I always say that. Yeah. Yeah, what's the deal with Star Wars 1? Uh, Star Wars 1. What's yeah. the deal with Star Wars 7? Why? Uh, I've not got no... Not, not, rah, 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 rah. No, I've got nothing to do yeah. with number 7. I don't believe that. I believe, yeah, you phoned up and had chats with Abram. 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 I hear it's based largely on the mythology you created. I think you probably have quite a large say in it, even if you don't say anything to him. Um... I'm contractually obliged not to speak about Star Wars 7. Because of those billions and billions of dollars you got for selling everything. Yeah, yeah. and my lawyers say so I probably shouldn't talk about episode 1 either. Because, yeah, apart from Darth Maul, that was a mess, George. It was. Sorry, everybody. Pod racing can only be so loud. Yeah. I think the pod, I like the idea of the pod racing, but it's just badly executed. It's, it's also not a film's worth of entertainment, is it? Mm. It's like... Did have Liam Neeson, though. Yeah. Good to see him in things. Mm. And you and McGregor. Mm. <laughs> I'm, I don't Aww. And he didn't get naked. Mm. Well, I don't know. <laughs> the Star Wars film it's suddenly uh, naked. You Qui Gon starts getting. Is it Qui Gon or Obi Wan? Obi Wan. Obi Wan starts just getting they're getting buff. Like. Good work. Well, you're just going in a whole different direction now, isn't it? <laughs> it might happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Lips are sealed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, George, what's all this about naked Obi Wan the next film? He's going to be a naked ghost. <laughs> oh man, he's going to come back more powerful than you'd ever imagined. He's just going to be naked doing sit ups. Maybe that's what he meant. Yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, Ewan McGregor's going to get really buff for it and then they're going to stick Alec Guinness's head on him. <laughs> <laughs> well, like a laser head or his real head? His real head and then they'll like <laughs> CGI <laughs> to make it look like he's talking. That is incredible. The kind of stuff they can do these days is amazing. It's you know we've come a long way since Oliver Reed. Mm. Well, now that they've mastered digital eyelash rendering, is was that a big deal? It's the, what they needed to make Jar Jar fantastic. Oh Jar Jar, I forgot about him. No one ever forgets about him. He's in your mind, clawing at your sanity. Weirdly, I completely just dumped all my memories of Jar Jar. When I was in France, there was a uh, a poster for a, a television um, showing of. Um, episode three, mm. and it said uh, a man. It said just it was just uh, the silhouette of uh, of Darth Vader, but obviously before he was Darth Vader, and, uh, and it said a man because because a man can only be called Annie so many times. Mm. <laughs> Lost his shit. Actually, does Jar Jar even turn up in three? Yes, he is there. He's um, in the bit of the council at the beginning. Yeah, he is. Oh, he's uh, all important and quiet. Mm. Yeah, which mm. never happens in the other films. Mm. I think they should have done kind of what they did in Robot Chicken. At the end, it turns out that he was the secret Padawan of Palpatine mm. all along because he causes everything. Yeah, 
He does. Causes everything. Yeah, just by hanging around. Just he, yeah, he influences it in the direction it ends up going, being awful, doesn't it, you know? And then um, he encourages them to, like, he, he makes the other guys join the fight and stuff. Mm, and this big comedy fight with the robots at the end. God. No, this shit going stuff sucks, really. <laughs> I liked how, that how he was so terrible a character, people thought it was racist. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know what race he was, he was just like... Exactly, race. That, that's racist, that's so bad, it's actually offending me on a <laughs> racial level. <laughs> Gungans. Oh, Brian Blesses was the head of the Gungans. Was he? Yeah. He totally was, oh god. Oh, wow. oh, but I'm not, I love that guy. He's amazing. He's one of my favourite all-time actors. Yeah. Not because of the acting ability, just because I think he's, he's amazing. He's so awesome. He's so old as well. Yeah. He's planning to go into space, though, still. Obviously. Yes. He's, a, he's an explorer. He went up the Himalayas looking for the Yeti. Yeah, yeah he totally believes in the Yeti. I, cool. Yeah, I heard him on Museum of Curiosity talking about Yetis, and he said that there's many people in the area who will now... He'll be the first person they call if they see one. Because, because they thought he was one of them. They thought he was a yeti. <laughs> I would be unsurprised. He's if... gone to the Himalayas and, and made everyone believe in the yeti. <laughs> yeah, it's just him. He didn't discover anything. He was just there. He's, he's just going to be endlessly chasing his own tail. 80% <laughs> yeah. of yeti sightings in the past 50 come years have been prime yeah. and be like, oh my God, I don't understand I'm it. So close. Weeks after I go anywhere, the yeti <laughs> sighted, I have to go back and find it and it's gone. Which means about five to ten years we'll get sightings of yetis in space. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Space yetis. He is the best bit about Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Which I think is a cracking film all the way through. I love that film, but he's great in it. He plays Robin Hood's dad. Yeah. Oh, he's only in it for like a microsecond. Yeah. Right. He says, You! Cool. And, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realise that was him either, and I've watched that film recently. <laughs> it's great. I always forget Christian Slate is in that film. Yes, yeah. That always surprises me. Uh, I, I always forget that he's actually quite funny. Costner? No, no, no um, Slater. Slater. Yeah, he's a good uh, guy. I, I, I see him and think, oh, him. <laughs> and then I, I see him and I go, oh, yeah, he's all right. Yeah, watch Churchill, the Hollywood Holly, I was about to bring it up. <laughs> tell me if that you think he's still funny. I like. You like that? I like it. Yes. I heard it's terrible, but I've not seen it. He's Winston Churchill, yeah. American GI. He gets sent to Britain, and the you know the tales of Winston Churchill surround him. It's not a very good film in, in defence of a uh, young <laughs> Do you like it because it's? I like it because uh, I don't know. It's funny. But it's one of those like it had a ton of like all the British comedians from the yeah, day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and Christian Slater and Neve Campbell as the Queen. I tell you why I liked it. I liked it because it was something that was released when I was grown up. That was like a black I was when I was a kid. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know that that was new when I was a bit too young to really get it. Mm. So it was something in that same vein. You know, we missed all the Python, didn't we? Oh God, you know. Yeah. They don't show it anymore. No, but you know, it's a different when it's <laughs> yeah, new, isn't it? it? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, Red Dwarf you. and stuff like that. You know, we didn't we didn't go without. But Red Dwarf. My friend Tom the Hobbit from Amputer was in Churchill the Hollywood Years. Really? He was a stunt double for that really really old British guy. I want to say <laughs> Leslie Grantham, but it's not Leslie Grantham because he was dead. Leslie Phillips. No way. Yeah. That guy was amazing. Uh, he brilliant. did some extra work pretending to be him. Is that the guy that plays like creepy man? He oh, is pretty old. old. old man. He can yeah. be a little creepy, a little mustachey, a little bit. Yeah. Speaking of films, you know what I like, Jenny? What do you like? No, that was the sentence. Um, Edge of Tomorrow. Yeah, it's fucking sick. It's really good. Tom yeah. Cruise got another one under his belt because it's well, it great. I, I can, I can. I was talking to my dad about this on the phone before, and, and I realised that. I, I like Tom Cruise when he's not trying to be anything except deadly serious. Yeah. Because then I don't get reminded about how much of a fucking lunatic he actually is. As soon as he laughs, as soon as he cracks that crazy <laughs> smile, I'm like, oh yeah, there you are. Back on the couch with Oprah. You know, that's just all that comes into my head. <laughs> right. But when he's being serious. That never happened. happened. I just, I couldn't yeah. move past Scientology with Tom Cruise. Yeah. Mm. Like, no matter what film he's in, it's just always there. Can't move past that. Be careful, because he will sue us. He'll he'll hear this. Oh. He listens. Duck tape, duck tape might take the case. <laughs> right, here's I... the thing. Here you go, Tom. Like that thing with like Oprah Winfrey never actually happened the way people remember it. 
He didn't jump on the couch as much. He yeah. did, no. He, he did stood jump on the couch once yeah. and then got down, but everyone remembers Family he, Guy with Stewie jumping up He and did down. the thing where you, you hit your, the armrest and you bum up and down. Yeah. And you know, it's he did do nuts. That. Like, he said that um, he drives past the motor accidents and knows that only Scientologists can help. <laughs> <laughs> but I imagine yeah. it doesn't get out and help. Because the, otherwise, surely there'd be loads of stories of Tom Cruise running into it, like, you know, crime scenes and, and, and ruining solving it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what he's doing. Maybe he's running around the town just solving crime. Keeping it quiet. Yeah. yeah. Tell no one. He's actually Batman. He's got the money. He does have the money. He's got Batman money. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, Edge of Tomorrow was really good. It was. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just like best bits of Groundhog Day mixed with fucking mad <laughs> aliens. Like, so cool. Yeah, I, I, I know what you mean about Groundhog Day. Obviously, the premise is the same as repeating the day, but it didn't strike me as being the same no, thing. No, no. But um, the girl in Groundhog Day and the girl in um, Edge Tomorrow are both called Rita. Uh, so we think it's either yeah. a rip or a nod. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's um, based on a um, Japanese book, like a mm. Japanese graphic novel. Which then became a showman joke. Yeah. Yeah. Um, with the mimics in it, the, the aliens in The Edge of Tomorrow are fantastic, and the original ones, they're just like, um, they're like furbies with, with big teeth. Cool. They're called mimics because they take on parts of human society, they start to look like, they are a, vibe, like a bacteria, essentially, <laughs> and they start to look like the hosts, but in Edge of Tomorrow, they're like, um, they're like sentinels from yeah, The Matrix, yeah. but biological, yeah. and they, they, they like crazy spiders. Fast, as madness. fast as you imagine something being incredibly scary, moving like good, good for the visual. Yeah, you know, yeah. Fight yeah. yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Really cool. Yeah, I did feel the ending could have been a little stronger. Yeah, the ending yeah, was a, a bit confusing. Mm. And I've watched some YouTube videos about the timeline, obviously, uh, and it doesn't really seem to make sense. The the whole sending him back further yeah. at the end was a was, bit. I wanted them just to die. Yeah. I wanted yeah. them just to die and be like, or at least some heroes. It's set up like it explains why that would work and yeah. he would appear back then. Like mm. some other little bit of explanation. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if anything, I wanted to see him go back and the Omega still, the thing that that, that created the time differences, be still alive. But they went back and this thing died when he killed it. It sent him sent both of them back in time somehow. And then it died, but he, despite being dead, came back to life, which didn't make much sense. Oh, 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 if they'd gone back in time and the Omega had been still alive and he'd been like, right, That's here we are, it. months earlier, yeah. we've actually got a bit of bloody time to prepare now, people might listen to me now. Mm. Yep, just sorted your film out, Tom. Mm. <laughs> And ruined everyone who hasn't seen it. Oh yeah, spoilers, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've but, not seen it. Roseanne's not seen it either. Yeah. But it's really good. Roseanne's not seen the Shawshank Redemption. Oh, oh yeah. What the fuck? That's really good. I know. It's it's on my list of things to watch. They've been at the end where they find out he's a secret knight from space. Oh, is that <laughs> <laughs> <That's> great, yeah. <laughs> and the bit with the the car made of cheese. It's amazing. Didn't see that coming. No. Like, you're gonna have to sit. You're gonna have to sit down and watch the. I really want to sit down and watch it. <laughs> you can watch it standing. Yeah. Standing up. <laughs> just stand for an entire film. You could get two long boards and recline against the solo standing position. Yeah, like the cone heads sleep. The cone heads. Oh cone heads sleep standing up. I I stood for an entire play. Were you in the play? No, it was like. At the Globe Theatre in London, and we just stood in the pit. It was Which great. play did you see? Uh, Comedy of Errors. Oh, good Shakespeare. One. Yeah, it was good. Obviously, it was the Globe. But yeah. I've stood for a lot of concerts. Yeah. yeah. I hate sitting down at concerts. It makes me feel weird. Yeah, I think you should be stood up. Yeah, I too. cannot sit down at a concert. That's mm. just wrong in every way. It I can sit down at a concert. I can yeah. sit down at a folk gig. That's fine. I would suppose. Oh, I'm just being silly. Oh, no, I just, stand up. Whenever someone says I went and saw, you know, someone they like, oh, that, that should be really cool. And like, oh yeah, we had we had okay seats, like, seats. Fine. Mm. The point is, you concert. The floor you can get as, as close as you want. It depends. As like, close as you can try to possibly. You know, what kind of blur on the edge of concert and a gig here? Concert is a gig. Well, I know, like technically, yeah. But would you describe, say, like, say the Foo Fighters put the repair in at the MEM? Is that a concert or a gig? Or say, like Metallica, S and M. Would you sit for that? I, would, would, I wouldn't go. That's the, yeah. <laughs> no. I just wouldn't be there. <laughs> no, I love the time No Leaf Clover was pretty cool. Yeah. Nothing else matters. Mm. I meant specifically. No, nothing really matters. Nothing, nothing really matters. 
I, um, I, I will admit that I thought for some reason we were talking about S and M Airways by No Effects, <laughs> and I really don't like the album. Uh, so yeah, I do like Metallica and S and M. I got time for No Effects. I so, love No Effects. Yeah. One of my like well, my top three bands, like alternate between the three positions. As you know, no one ever has a real favourite band, and if they do, they're dickheads. Who are your other two? Dillinger Escape Plan mm. uh, and Nine Inch Nails. Mm. What about Radiohead? That usually totters into the top three, but then goes back to four. Mm. I think Pixies is always in my top three somewhere. I really like the Proclaimers. Mm. <laughs> they are good. They are good, but Peter K spoiled it. Mm. Peter K spoiled the Proclaimers. Well, he did that um, 500 miles song. Did he? Yeah. 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 And he made it cool and non retro. That's also not what do I was talking about. Yeah, Jimmy Savile was in that music video. No, well, I'm never going to see that again. Jimmy, I, I used to do it. I don't know if you guys know this, and certainly the, the, the viewers at home viewing the. YouTube clip of us with your eye ears. Yeah, with your <laughs> eye ears. Well, no, I yeah, used to give um, Jimmy Savile his pension. Personally? Yes, personally. Here you go, Jim. Yes. In an envelope. Wow. No, well, in the post office sleeve, yeah. Holy shit, but, you actually met him? I, yeah, I used to work for um, the Bargain Booze slash post office in. Um, what the hell was the area I used to live in? I don't Anyway, no, it wasn't in, 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 in Leeds, um, yeah, in a part of Leeds where he lived, and uh, he'd lived not above Oak the shop. Town? No, no, Oakwood was nearby, but it wasn't either. Um, and like five houses down, and he used to come with his mistress and his wife, Jimmy it, Savile. Jimmy Savile mm-hmm. in his tr- um, like pink jumpsuit every second Sunday, and and get his pension from me or. Oh, mate, Ellie, who I At the time, you're like, hi, Mr. Savile, it's nice to meet you. Yeah, he was a bit... Because um, at the time, we thought it was quite cool because the reason why he got his pension was because he gave all his money away. Obviously, out of some kind of resounding guilt. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not you know, good anymore, but he was like... Oh, he's a lunatic, and he's, he's obviously a crazy old man, but yeah, he has given all his money away. Still lives with him, uh, his wife and his mistress, who mm. was like 20 years his younger, which... Uh, well, it was probably a bit of a compromise for him. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know, oh boy. she was she was aging as well. She was like an aging mistress. Excellent. Yeah, we can edit that, right? <laughs> we give a lot of Savile time out on this program, unfortunately. Yeah, this is things you like. What do we like? What do you like? Um, what do I like? What do you like? Um, I like cherry coke. Do you like the new green Coke? No, I don't like the new green it Coke. It tastes horrible, yeah. Yeah, it does taste Sorry, horrible. Coke. Is that, <laughs> all of... is that the new stuff with stevia? It's... It could color life. Yeah, life, life. And it's green, and I think they made it green to try and make it look like healthy. Uh, yeah. Deco. But it tastes like really cheap cola mixed with diet Coke, and it's. Uh, I think they. I think they. They know what they're doing, though. I think it, it, it's. There's like an estimable amount of time between each kind of new Coke, you know? It's not like they try it all the time. It's not like they're trying to find the new Coke. It's like they do it every like four or five years. It's like they remind you of Coke and about how much you like original Coke. You know, they bring out something (laughs) shit and you go, that's shit. And I remember how much I like normal Coke. Actually, you say that, there is a Coke that is blowing Coca-Cola out of the water in America right now. What is it? Mexico. Really? It's what they're calling Coca-Cola. It's still Coca-Cola, but they make it in Mexico, and they make it with pure cane sugar instead of, like, you know, corn syrup sugar. It's still owned by Coca-Cola, though. It's still owned by Coca-Cola. Well, sucks. franchise. Yeah. But, like, people are, like, paying, like, a fortune for it. They're, like, going down to Mexico and, like, running up with all this, like, Mexico. It's got slightly different branding and stuff. In fact, if one was being a bit sinister about things, this could be an incredible marketing ploy by Coke. Yeah. Mm. But it sounds like eight times the cost of a Coke in America. Mm. That's massive cult. We're going to be getting it over here sometime soon. Bring back original Coke. And I don't mean <laughs> before they brought out new Coke. I mean... 1908 Coke. 1908 Coke. <laughs> With the cocaine in it. Just, just Coke, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> coke leaves. Yeah. The, the Coca-Cola Museum, I can tell you firsthand, makes zero mention of ever having anything to do with Coke leaves. Or but, making drinks for the Nazis. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 
But Coca-Cola um, does bring in a certain amount of coca leaves per year still for research purposes. Mm-hmm. I hear there's something of the cocoa leaf still in yeah, Coke. Yeah, there is, yeah. Mm. Cool. Fascinating. It's crazy how they market all these drinks that are opaque and black and people still drink them. It just doesn't seem natural to drink a thick black liquid. Black fluid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Black pancake's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, don't eat, don't eat things that have gone black. Unless you're pretty sure they were supposed to be black in the exactly first in the first place, and if black things have gone white, then don't eat them either. Mm. Like or any other colour before it, before it goes before white. white. Yeah. I like the fact that they found the submarine, and it submarine. turned out they found that submarine off the coast of Sweden. Did they? <laughs> yeah, and it turns out it is aliens. Wow. <laughs> Good aliens. I like yeah. the fact that. Yeah, yeah, they're great, and we're treating them really well. Oh, have we watched? Have they let them watch any films? We let them watch Mac and Me, but that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. they, 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 they saw out. a little bit of uh, Close Encounters. You know. Is that a good? Oh, that is a good one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, great one. Yeah, I like the fact that we're usually wrong about physics, so it's perfectly plausible that alien life could reach us within our lifetime. We're wrong about most things all the time. Mm. I'm amazed we're still here. <coughs> Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we are still here. That's happening. I like the Big Les Show. The Big Les Show? The Big Les Show. It's uh, just a funny YouTube show. And it is starring. No, and it's the animation. And it's like set in Australia. And uh, yeah, it's hilarious. There's a Sasquatch called Sassy. Mm. Obviously, genius. Played mm. by Brian. Oh, uh, yeah. Why cool. not? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it's boss. You should well watch it. On a theme, there's a Sasquatch in the Andrew WK TV series. Was it Andrew WK TV series? Yeah, do you want? What's it? Awesome. It's called Meet Me at the Wreck. <laughs> what does he do? Meets people at the wreck, and they have you know little adventures and do stuff. He had a, an old MTV show where he went around America solving high school kids' problems for them. Really? Do you know what he did to solve their problems? Nine times out of ten. Party. Had a party! Yeah. <laughs> I think I saw that. I saw one where he just played some intense drums for about six hours and, <laughs> and sorted everything out. Uh, this kid may be super lame but now all of the people at his school remember when he made Andrew WK come and party with him. <laughs> and the yeah. residual coolness of that lasts about 25 years. The man is a good egg. It, I want to think, yeah, watch the show. It's great, there's an alien, there's a Sasquatch, Jack Black turns up to help them sort some stuff. There's loads of kids just having mad ass, the best time of their lives. You're going to have to help me here. You two seem to understand the difference between a Sasquatch and a Bigfoot. Because <laughs> I don't. Because before, Brian Blessed was a Bigfoot, and now we're talking about Sasquatches. Is this like a... Wait, no, before... What about a Yeti? Yeti. Yeah. Yeti, Yeti, sorry. You see what I mean? Yeah. It's all mixed up in the head. There could be all kinds of... I, is this, are these separate species? Some a Yeti species? is usually like a, a snowy... Yeah. A snowy right, Bigfoot. I yeah, I get that distinction. A Sasquatch, I would say, is more of your Northern American woodland variety. And so that is Bigfoot. Big... Bigfoot is the name that they gave to it. Sasquatch is the name that they discovered that the Native Amer- Americans... Native Americans? Native Americans. Or First Nation, I'm not supposed, I'm sure what you're supposed to say. Uh, the legends they had before, we nipped over. And they were like, oh yeah, there's some giant hairy dudes that live in the woods, like 12 foot tall. Don't fuck with them. So it's quite awesome. an old... <coughs> yeah. Yeah. I always just assumed it was from, like, people who moved to America. Like, it wasn't like a traditional myth or something. Well, for all we know, we got the myth from the yeah. Native Americans, yeah. and we just run with it. Well, they tried to fuck with us. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe we were just trying to be like, yeah, we've seen that. Yeah. 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 You might have given us smallpox, but there's a fucking yeti out there. <laughs> yeah. Sasquatch. Sorry, Sasquatch out there. <laughs> so how about them Knicks? Uh, how about the, those jets? The Knicks are bombs. Jets? The Knicks are bombs. Apparently so. What what sport do the Knicks play? They play the basketball. The basketball. <laughs> the ball with the basket. Mm, okay. Are they in the NBA? Uh, yeah. You know, it turns out we invented basketball. We? Yeah. <laughs> Us five. Yeah, we got <laughs> together about 200 years ago and sorted that out. Is that where they play like five sides? Because no, I thought Americans were like basketball. Apparently we it's invented the basketball. Sport they did, uh, baseball. Though they've just discovered that there was a game of baseball played in Britain well before it was played in America. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> rah rah. They for 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 years, for like eight years, they played with a peach bucket in basketball before someone thought about cutting a hole in the bottom of it. 
Well, they just drop it in. They, they, and then yeah, they, they, they get a ladder going up to it. And <laughs> netball was created by someone um, having heard about basketball and sending off and saying, "Oh, can you? You know, we'd love to do this in our school." And then completely misunderstanding the rules and creating a league in their town or city or wherever um, where they played where you couldn't leave the zone. So they just it's that you can't room. move when you have the you ball. can't move when you have the ball and you can't you, and you yeah. can't move leave out of your zone. So. Like that, yeah. they misinterpreted the rules and, and taught other people the wrong rules and created netball like that. Well, and now they say it's for girls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's only the girls would even read the inter- <laughs> instructions. I used to play netball. Badly. It was horrible. I was forced to play netball. Was I play was forced to play hockey. Yeah, oh, hockey. Why? L- lacrosse. We played that for a bit. Oh, I hit that someone was in awful. the face with Yeah, that always once. happens. Uh, I've got just a little off topic, but... Um, Making a new website at work, a new website going, and all over it's the fact that we're like a progressive law firm, and uh, when a new guy worked for us, um, having a private client team, uh, which is just him, and um, he's such like a traditional solicitor, and he gave me his biography for the website today, and it has the likes that he likes water polo, golf, and horse riding. Wow. <laughs> You should put those three together. Yeah. Do something real interesting. Well, water polo is played on horses, so... No water polo. No, no. <laughs> no, water, no water polo. 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 Yeah, no water polo. Water polo is played on horses. That'd be cool, eh? He just plays the horses in a pool. It, it just sounds more dangerous. <laughs> they like swimming, though. <laughs> yeah, they like swimming whilst being ridden and people flail mallets at head level. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> Well, yeah, but it doesn't it doesn't sound like a good plan. I know someone who has access to a swimming pool. We just need horses. I would say that the swimming pool would probably be the easiest thing to locate. I don't know. It has to be a mallets. Big <laughs> Get mallets, surely. It's a ball. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just don't mean to be pretentious or oh, <laughs> pedantic. No, yeah, we we need horses and people who are willing to let you don't need horses, horses swim. You just need another person. That's how you make it work. Water polo in the pool with people playing their place of horses. So you, get so you just ride a person. Yeah. Wait, or a pantomime horse. How about this? One <laughs> team is on horses, one team is on people. Or that just sounds oh. so that sounds dangerous. More dangerous. Yeah. But you only have three people on horses, but like five people. No, you have five horses and three people on people. The potential for, uh, for damage, I think, is about the same. I think you're going to need to try different methods in this pool to see which works best. It's going to have to be a big pool or something. Like a ride robot. Horses. Why, why are you just doing Keep horses water. versus people? Mm. Yeah, horses on horses and yeah. people on people. Yeah. <laughs> in the water. Yeah. Yeah. People yeah. on horses and horses on people. I was going to say horses yeah. on people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we carry a horse with a mallet in it as well. <laughs> Why don't we just get one team of senators and another team that's senators, but the other way round? Sorry, senators. Senators. <laughs> wait, wait, senators. 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 Yeah. But the other way round. So bring the other the members of the American. So it's like a <laughs> body and then a big horse head. Yeah, but the other way round. Yeah, no, well, no, to get it right, it'd like be like Jack human legs yes. and then like four horse legs and a horse head. We, so what? Eight, two Human horses. legs and then four no, horse legs. Well, they legs. get extra stuff. They get, they get two. Centaurs get four legs and two so, arms. So, no, what it should be is like a human, but where the arms are, there's legs. So the human's got four legs and then the. What you're describing yeah, is it, how it, it feels like it should be like four arms that are actually horse legs with a normal set of human legs. <laughs> <laughs> no. I get what you're Jim, saying Jim. because the centaurs have the use of all the horse legs yeah. and the arms. Yeah. It's like a, but if it's a human on a yeah, horse's no, neck, point. a centaur, really, isn't it? Yeah. So a horse on a human. Would you mind? So, no, because then the horse <laughs> neck would have to start like here, and you just have two legs and a big horse head. Yeah, but you could have them coming out at angles. What? Horse leg. Would that be beneficial? Yeah, like a big would horse head. Would it work with... as a body? <laughs> what? <laughs> You're just describing a series of horrible, deformed freaks who could never function in society. Right, what we need to do is get loads of horses and loads of people and just splice to fuck and see what works. Horse man. See, I'm thinking Jim. of a, a horse, the front of a horse, its front two legs and its neck and head, 
but then with a human body, human centipede style on the back of that, kind of like a pantomime horse. <laughs> it doesn't matter how many mammal parts you add to it, Jim, you're not marrying a squid. <laughs> I don't want to marry an abused squid, I want to marry a normal squid. <laughs> Jim will marry for love, not scientific grandeur. <laughs> It'd have to be a squid who was in love with me or something. Yeah. How would you know? You'd ask you it. Know. You'd just know. <laughs> oh, you'd know. <laughs> you kind of just write this, this horrible, horrible a very... going, Oh, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's his fancy. Yeah. So beautiful. I know, baby. <laughs> not before we're married. Of course not. Mm. Because that, that that squid was raised on proper Judeo-Christian values. Yeah, and, uh, from the Grand Mariana Trench. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. My God, they spread. I had a cool idea about a squid coming on the land. I'm not sure if I can make it work. It was nothing to do with getting married to a squid. <laughs> you can make it work because you'll be able to persuade a squid out onto land. See, uh, if you could talk a squid to come up, well, actually, how big can a squid get before it can't come out on the land? Because I've seen them knocking around. Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, is it, is it too big for the sea? We know you sometimes <laughs> see them and, like, yeah. that's fucking huge! <laughs> and ones on YouTube, you know, like, you see them, like, walking around on deck of ships and sometimes they come onto, like, land and just hang around and eat stuff. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. What size do they need to be before they can, like, yeah. survive any length of yeah. time? No, but what's the biggest they can get before it's like, no, I can't go on the land? How can you get, like, a 12 foot squid just knocking around on the beach? Yeah. Mental. That'd be cool. Unfortunately, we only have time for a quick, quick thing we like each. Super quick. Super quick. Um, Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, M&S food. Oh, M&S hoisting duck wraps. Are you mm. kidding me? They're in another league. Mm. Excellent. I'm going to go totally to the other end of the spectrum and a cheese and ham breville toasty. Oh. Oh. Yes. Yeah. I like the autumn. Ooh. And the mm-hmm. leaves, and then being all crispy, like and then mushy, and yeah. Mm. I'm gonna say Halloween, and I know it's been mentioned before, and that's lazy of me. No, it's good. There's but not enough Halloween. Ha- Halloween, yeah, Halloween is fantastic. I've always done trick or treating. Hell, I might do it this year. <laughs> That'd be scary. I've never tricked nor treated. Never. Never. You've My never parents treated. were very, very much against. You've never toilet papered a tree. Not for Halloween. Oh, hmm, I've never enough. done that. Are we Mm-hmm. We got our egg, ho- uh, our, our, ha- our egg housed. Did you? Yeah. Jesus! I missed you from it night like about ten years ago, um, and then in school the next day, uh, got told by someone in school that that was them. <laughs> so me and my brother just went and egged the house. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed like well, just because you did it on mischief night doesn't mean you win. <laughs> it, it's not forgotten. That was a valid response. Yeah. I got hit in the eye with an egg when I was on holiday. Someone like drove past in a car, lobbed out of the window, hit me in the eye, really fucking hurt. We were at the anti-war rally in, in Southport Town Centre in college when the pro-war side, they called themselves pro-war side, by the way. No, none of this anti-peace kind of, you yeah. know. Pro-war. Um, pro-war. It's actually kind of cool. They, they started chucking eggs at us, didn't they? We, we started, like batted them out of the way. And then the newspapers read that we started throwing eggs at each other. Bastards. That's how the pro world side always wins. Yeah, they were engaging in conflict. Mm. So it seems you know, quite their MO. And you could do nothing because you were against the war. I like Jedi caught eggs in like, my hands. <laughs> did you throw them back then? No, no, no. I mean, you know, caught like <laughs> did, did them exploding in my hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that is it for this week's things we like. Uh, if you want to get in touch with us, with pictures of what you think a backward centaur might look like, mm. please send your pictures to things we like at thepeoplesbeard.com or uh, Twitter at underscore things underscore we underscore like and Twitter. Twitter starts with a capital T, but so does things. Things starts with a capital T in yeah. this context. <laughs> it does indeed. Uh, I've been George Lucas. I've been Jenny. I've been. Ooh, George A. Romero. I've been Rosanne. I've been missing the point of things we like. Oh. No, I've, I've just I've just been things we hate. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've not got over stuff sucks yet. It, it, no one does. It's, it was too much that last week. No one does that. I've been all week upset with the world. But, oh, I'm sorry. 
It's all right. I'm come sure back. there are viewers out there who agree with me. It's okay. Come back next week. Stuff's going to suck again. <laughs> Andy will probably be sad about something. I probably will. Oh. Maybe he'll be living off a high for things like that. Yeah, yeah, but then after that... Oh, jeez. We've got loads of stuff coming up. The Halloween special's going to drop soon. That's going to be pretty cool. Pro- probably even before this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> probably. Hey, that's going to be weird. <laughs> so we'll catch you all next week for Stuff Sucks. I'm waving, but like... <laughs> Bye. 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 We're all waving. We're all waving.